So we've driven about uh, three and a half thousand miles from um, Los Angeles um, to get over here and I was really worried this morning. We were going to see falling water behind me. It's a house that um, for my whole life really I've said was my favourite house from the 20th century and yet it's very difficult to say that because I've never seen it. Today I've seen it and it completely um, met all my expectations. It was really a fantastic experience to be in there. This is a house that was built 80, almost 80 years ago, designed almost 80 years ago and yet it's a house which really says um, something which would be successful in architecture today. Um, the term just coined at the time, organic architecture, could just as easily today be the name of a book or the name of a magazine. And although there's some things which I really dislike about Franco Bike, he's a complete prima donna, um, when we experience a house like this, we can see that he was genuinely a master of, of what he did. The house looks like it's sitting um, over the waterfall, and a lot of people think the waterfall runs through the house. Unfortunately, it doesn't, but that's a bit improvement on the design but it's one of the early examples of uh, reinforced cantilevering um, which he had engineering problems with but the beauty of this house is, is it's very simple and I wish we could show you inside because when you're inside you feel like you're outside and all these cliches that people talk about today on these programs like grand designs or want to be outside and feel like I'm inside and all this this is all happening 80 years ago and architecture hasn't really moved on from that point what interests me especially about this house is if you look at what's happening with modernism in the 20s and the 30s this could have been a really cold um, Bauhaus kind of experience, and it's not. He was using natural rock, natural stone, the boulders come into the house, and you genuinely feel that you're part of this amazing landscape, and that's why this house is so successful. And even though it's one of the most famous houses in the world, that's why it's still one of my favourite houses in the world. Okay.